Blessed is our God, and we now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, comfort and spirit of truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life. Come and dwell in us and cleanse us of all impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. 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 Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. How beloved are thy dwellings, O Lord of hosts, my soul longeth and thanketh for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh have rejoiced in the living God. For the sparrow hath found herself a house, and the turtle dove a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. Even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they that dwell in thy house, unto ages of ages shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man whose help is from thee, he hath made the sense of his heart in the veil of weeping in the place which he hath appointed. Yea, for the lawgiver will give blessings, they shall go from strength to strength, the God of God shall be seen in Zion. O Lord of hosts, hearken unto my prayer, give ear, O God of Jacob, O God our defender, behold and look upon the face of thine anointed one. For better is one day in thy courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of sinners. For the Lord loveth mercy and truth. God will give grace and glory. The Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. The Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that hopeth in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast made all thy wrath to cease. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. Turn us back, O God, of our salvation, and turn away thine anger from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us unto the ages, or wilt thou grow up thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation, and thou be unto us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in thee, for he will speak peace to his people, and to his saints, and to them that turn their heart unto him. Surely not unto them that fear this is salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth is from out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give goodness in our land, shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before me, and shall set his good steps in the way. Bow down thy ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in me. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day long. May glad the soul of thy servant, for unto thee thou lifted up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and gentle and plenteous, and mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give your O Lord unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of mine affliction, if I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come and shall worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and workest wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost Hades. O God, transgressors have risen up against me, and the assembly of the mighty hath sought after my soul, and they have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, my God, art compassionate and merciful, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. 
Look upon me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thy handmaiden. Work in me a sign of the good and of him that hate me. Behold and be put to shame for thou, Lord, hast told me and comforted me. Work in me a sign of the good and of them that hate me. Behold and be put to shame for thou, Lord, hast told me and comforted me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In giving birth, thou didst preserve thy virginity, and in thy permission thou didst forsake the world of their tokens. Thou wast translated into life, as thou art the mother of life, and by thy supplications thou dost deliver our souls from death. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O ye faithful, let us praise as is meet, the all blessed Florence, and the most honored Lars, the all comely and divinely wise, and most radiant pair, who earnestly and manifestly proclaim the uncreated Trinity to all. Wherefore, having suffered and been under the shedding of your blood, and been crowned with most splendid crowns, and treat Christ God, that he save our souls, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O thou who for our sake was born of a virgin, and did suffer crucifixion, O good one, and didst despoil death by death, and as God didst reveal the resurrection, didst then not them which thou hast fashioned with thy hand, show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one. Except the Theotokos who gave thee birth, who interceded for us, and do thou our Savior, save of his fair and people. Deliver us not of utterly for thy holy name's sake, we do this and know thou thy covenant and cause not thy mercy to depart from us for Abraham's sake, thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake, thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debts, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Tonight, the kingdom of the power and the glory of the Father, and the time of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the age of ages. Amen. The tomb and mortality did not hold the Theotokosy, untiring her supplications, and our servant hope and her intercession. For as the mother of life, she has passed over to the light who dwelt within her ever virgin womb. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and hast mercy on sinners, who call us all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. For receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels that go and guided by their own ray, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, from now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God, the word of the very day, hopeless, leading we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. God be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who art long suffering in the face of our transgressions, and who has brought us even unto this present hour, born of thou didst take upon the life-giving tree, 
and didst make a way into paradise for the wise thief, and by death and didst destroy death. Be gracious unto us sinners, and thine unworthy servants, for we have sinned and committed iniquity, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and behold the height of heaven, for we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness, and have walked in the desires of our hearts. But we beseech thy boundless goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake, for our days were consumed in vanity. Rescue us from the hand of the adversary, and forgive us our sins, and mortify our carnal mind. That putting aside the old man, we may be clad with the new, and live for thee, our master and benefactor. And that thus, by following in thy commandments, we may attain to rest everlasting, wherein is the dwelling place of all them that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God. And unto thee we send up glory with thine unoriginate Father, and thy most holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And let us worship God our King, and let us worship and call down for Christ our King and God. And let us worship and call down for Christ himself our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on, and coverest thyself with light and the garment, and stretchest out the heaven as it were present, who supported his chambers in the water, and still pointed the clouds for him as hand, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who make his angels and spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth in the sureness thereof, which shall not be turned back forever and ever. And the abyss, like the garments, is his mantle. Upon the mountain shall the water stand. At thy rebuke they will flee. At the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou pointest to bow that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys between the mountains where the walkers run. They shall give drink to all the beasts to the field, the wild asses await to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven watch from the midst of their rocks, for they give voice. He walketh the mountains from his chamber, and the earth shall be satisfied with the divine works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and green earth for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine make it glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil, and bread strengthen of man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hairs. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou pointest the darkness in there with the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. Young lions roaring after their prey, and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in the den. But man shall go forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea. Therein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures of the great. There go the ships, there this dragon, and thou hast made play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food and due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirits, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirits, and they shall be created, and thou shalt near the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord rejoice in his works. Who look upon the earth, and make it the tremble, who touch the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. O oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work in iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord on my soul. The sun knoweth is going down, now point is the darkness in there with the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and in the day of the day. Amen. Ida be out of the out of the air, which be O God. Ida be out of the out of the air, which be O God. Ida be out of the out of the air, which be O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, let us say to the holy churches of God and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple and for them that with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. For our great Lord and Father, His Holiness Patriarch Kirill, for our Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Mark, for our Lord, the most reverend Bishop Nicholas, for the venerable priesthood that he acted in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. For our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, Archimedes, Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. For this land, its authorities, and our forces, let us pray to the Lord. For the God preserve Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy monastery, for every city and country in the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee is due glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the age of salvation. Let 
and the holy light fire of the apostles, giving the divine and awesome mystery of God's dispensation with manifest theology, and bearing in the life giving and God receiving body, they rejoice, O most in one, Regarding one another, they said, marveling at the wonders of her who transcended the all holy senior ranks of the angels. Lift up your gaze and receive her, who gave birth to the Creator of heaven and earth, and with glorifications let us in the precious and holy body which contain the Lord who is invisible to us. Wherefore, celebrating thy memory, we also cry out to the all-hymn one, exalt the word of Christians and save our souls. O joyous light of the holy glory of the immortal, heavenly, holy, blessed Father, O Jesus Christ, Having come to the setting of the sun, having beheld the evening light, we praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God. Indeed it is for thee at all times to be him with reverent voices, O Son of God, giver of life. Wherefore the world that glorify thee. Blessed then, peace be unto all. Wisdom, the Prakimana, and the Fifth Son, O God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength do thou judge me. O God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength, do Lord, thou judge me. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give ear unto the words of my mouth. O God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength, do Lord, thou God save, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, supporting as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever, and sting not the work of thy hands. To be as due praise, to be as due a song, to be glorious to thee. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. That angel of peace, the faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, son of our Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. God art thou, and the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And with Let us bow.
bow our heads unto the Lord. Blessed and most glorified be the dominion of thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages.
With the choirs of the angels at its time cried the never setting sun, in light unwaning, O holy General Andrew, with those who suffered with thee, ever in feed him that he save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, from now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In giving where thou didst preserve thy virginity, in thy your mission thou didst not forsake the world, for they Thou wast translated on the light, since thou art the mother of light, and by thy supplications dost thou deliver our souls from death. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our great Lord and Father, His Holiness Patriarch, Kirill, Father, Lord, the very most reverend Bishop Paul to Mark, our Lord, the most reverend Bishop Nicholas, and all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for our all venerable Father, the Abbot of this holy monastery, Archimander, and Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for this land, its authorities, and armed forces. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the God preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation. Lord, Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy monastery, and for all our fathers and brethren gone to the rest before us, and the Orthodox here and ever were laid to rest. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon and remission of the sins of the servants of God, the brethren of this holy monastery. That thou mightest look down with a merciful eye upon the people of the Ukrainian land and make it unconquerable by those who work strife. We pray thee, O kind hearted Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray to our Lord and Savior that he might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety and grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray that He will bless the building of our new church and that its foundation may be laid successfully to the glory of His name, and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion by the power, operation, and grace of the Most Holy Spirit. Let us all say, O oh Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all-venerable temple, for them that minister in the chant, and for all the people here present who await to the great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For merciful God art thou, and the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory, through the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the age of ages. Wisdom. Amen. He that is is blessed, Christ our God, how is now and ever and unto the age of salvations. Amen. Establish, O God, the holy Orthodox faith of Orthodox Christians unto the ages of ages. O most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and the ark of their more glorious than the seraphim, who with that corruption gave it birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, we are newly magnified. Glory to thee, O Christ, God, our hope. Glory to thee, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, 
May Christ our true God, through the intercession of this most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life giving cross, through the intercessions of the Holy Glorious and all praised apostles of our Father among the saints, Nicholas the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Mir and Lyceum, of the Holy Great Martyr and Hilipon Telemon, of the Holy Martyr Andrew and Strasilates and those with him, of St. Peter and Bishop of Perm, of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good, the lover of mankind. Our Lord, the very most reverend Mark, Metropolitan of Berlin, Germany. Our Lord, the most reverend Nicholas, Bishop of Manhattan. The all venerable abbot of this holy monastery, our commandite Seraphim. The brethren of this holy monastery, and all Orthodox Christians, reserve for many. 